Hi and welcome to my tea paint tutorial. Um, I'll show you how to create uh, a texture for your terrain just like this from no texture to having it fully painted. First thing first, we're going to want to go into the texture tool in the BF2 editor. and we want to go into layers. The first layer we want we want to choose something that's going to go on everything steep. So all steep angles on the map are going to use the texture for the first layer. So we'll go ahead and choose the detail and color textures that we want. Now, with the color textures, you don't really have to choose them now, but I find it is, uh, it's is—it's good to choose them in the editor, because you can s easily see what they look like. And take a note of the names of the color textures that you choose. For low detail type, for layer 1, we're going to use low detail type 2. Layer 2 is going to be the textures for everything high up in the map. Sometimes most of the map will be uh, considered high texture, so I'm going to choose something like grass. And use low detail type 1. Layer 3 will be everything on the map that's low down. So I'm going to choose something like sand. and I'm going to use low detail type 1 as well. Now we can go ahead and save this and just take a note of the color textures that you use in the editor and then we can close. Now that we've got the BF2 editor set up for T-Paint we're going to need to do some things outside of the editor in order to make it work. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into your Battlefield 2 directory and go into mods and then go into BF2 mod. Find common client and common server .zip files. Copy them and paste them in some other folder, for example a folder on your desktop. Once they're pasted in there, just right click them and extract. You can use do this by using WinRAR. Now find terrain, go into textures, color, and now pick out the color textures that we found earlier in the editor. So for example, in the editor before, earlier I chose grass, mountains, and sand dark. So I'm just going to paste these in another file just to be a bit more convenient. Now in BF2 T-Paint, we can see that they use TGA files. So we need to turn these DDS files into TGA. So we're going to need Photoshop with NVIDIA DDS plugins installed. And I'll link that in the description. So we've got Photoshop open here. And we're just going to go to File, Open. And we're going to open up all those DDS files. And we're going to load using default sizes. Now to save these as TGA, just s click Save As, choose TGA, and name them correctly. For example, this is my going to be my color texture for High, so I'm going to rename it to High, and save it as 24 bits pixel. This is my texture for low areas in my map, so I'm going to name it to low.
and this is going to be my texture for the steep areas of my map. So I'm going to save it as steep. So now these are all saved. So we can close down Photoshop. Now, if we go into BF2 T-Paint, you can see there's already high, low, and steep files in the data folder. These are the default ones, and they don't suit every map. So that's why we've made our own over here. So just copy and paste those into the data folder, replacing the ones already there. Alright, now we can run BF2 T-Paint. There's a few options here. For the most part, you're going to have all of them selected. But for now, I'm going to unselect paint surrounding terrain, so I don't really need the surrounding terrain painted at this point. And then, just press go. So now it's done, and it's made two more folders, detail maps and color maps. It's going to select them both and copy them. Now if you go back into your map folder and go into the editor folder, if you just paste them in there, overriding any files that are in there. So now this is ready to go. We can load up the editor and see what it looks like. Okay, so now we've loaded up the editor with the map. Uh, we can see there's an obvious difference. We've got some texture. Now there's a couple of things that you need to do. If you really want to see how the texture will look like, go to Render and Detail Texture Mode. And there you go. Another thing you might have to do is go back into the Texture Tool and go down and set Low Detail Texture. There will be only one option, choose that, and then Generate Low Detail Map and Save. Yeah, and it should look similar to this, depending on what textures you have used. And, yeah, that concludes the basics of using T-Paint.